Elsewhere, Governor of Akwaibom State, Omoeno, has restated his administration's commitment to youth development through job creations, SMEs, and other initiatives. He stated this while officially launching the Arise Employment Portal in Oyo, the state capital. Governor Eno says this is fulfillment of the promise he made to the youth of the state for their understanding, cooperation during the nationwide protest. He also adds that the employees for the promised 5,000 jobs would be harvested through the portal in fairness and transparency. While calling on private and public employers to engage the platform in recruiting talented youth of the state, the governor notes that Interlabor Committee will monitor employment process to ensure transparency and fairness. We'll soon inaugurate the state labor interlabor committee to monitor employment opportunities and ensure transparency and fairness in the process of employment. This state labor committee will ensure that all companies in operating in Aquaibo will show transparency in their employment of Aquaibom indigents in their various organizations. Now to Lagos, where a driver of the Lagos State Bus Rapid Transport Services, Andrew Nice Ominekoron, says it was due to fear of repercussion that made him fail to report the incident of his passenger, Oluwa Bamishe Anyongwola, allegedly being raped by three male passengers and thrown off his bus, leading to her death afterwards. He revealed this before Justice Sharifa Chonaiki of the Lagos State High Court, CBS Annex, on Monday during cross-examination. Kemi Folade Emo brings us details and will be back with business news. On Thursday, October 17, Andrew Nice opened his defense and was led in evidence by his counsel, Abayo Miyomotubura, where he told the court that it was three male passengers who boarded his bus after official hours that raped by Michelle Nyongwola and threw her off his bus. At the resumed hearing on Monday, the defendant said drivers are mandated to always call the office to report any case and that such incident must be formally reported to the depot manager upon return to the office. But on that day, he told the court he didn't file any report out of fear of getting into trouble with his bosses. He said he picked up Bamiche and the other passengers after official hours when he was supposed to return the bus to the shed at Oshudi and not carry any more passenger. Earlier in the day, Andrew Nice told the court he was tortured severely by DSS officials upon his arrest and interrogation, which he said continued when he was transferred to the State Criminal Investigation Department, Guanti. But during cross-examination, he said he didn't file a complaint to the DSS director or the Inspector General of Police over the torture claims. The one in Ife, where an OAU master's degree student came to Ife and was murdered in an hotel, the, the Ocean State Judiciary has been bold enough to deliver judgment. What about a female lawyer, Barrister Rahim, who was killed by a trigger of the in December of 2022, one year after that of Bamiche? Judgment has, be, has been given. What is delaying that of Bamiche? That's the question we have been asking the Gossip government. The reason why it has taken so long is because of the administration of justice, most especially the attitude of the defense counsel. But although this is a lesson for we lawyers, based on our rules of professional conduct, we own a duty to the court of law to be present at all times. George, you know, has been holding, you know, has been holding the balance well. So no impartiality, no bias, no, uh, you know, favoritism of any sort. So uh, I am satisfied with what I have been seeing, you know. I understand that the Lagos are trying, but please put more effort. Do what it takes to make sure justice is, 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 is brought up and any other person that has hand in our debt to be, broke, to, to be brought to book. For the hearing is fixed for November 29. Kemi Fuladeyemo, TBC News, Lagos.